Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. It's officially sunrise and there's no sun. You know what we do have? Mosquitoes. <laughs> I tried spraying some off. Uh, one was so big it knocked the can right out of my hand. Yeah. Oh, he was big. He had his own license plate. <laughs> I'm just telling you, he was big. You know, a lot of you people responded to me talking about growing up in a house full of drugs and uh, alcoholism. And I was talking uh, to my second cousin about this uh, yesterday. And I said to her, uh, I'm pretty sure our family tree is a bar stool. <laughs> but anyway, guys, it's a beautiful day. We're going to make it a beautiful day. Hey, Kat, I hope you're doing well today, my friend. You ready? Roll my intro. So something kind of neat that has been happening uh, over the last few days, I got an email from uh, a uh, production assistant uh, with the show Tamron Hall, which is a talk show, uh, one million followers on Twitter, and it's uh, owned by the Walt Disney Company, or uh, I guess Disney now. And uh, they want to use clips from my uh, Luling video from a couple weeks ago. Possibly on their show. Possibly next Tuesday. They present it as a package and see if it gets approved. So uh, I signed the waiver for that. I verified everything. And uh, I guess that's something to look uh, forward down the line. Possibly. I don't think anything's going to come from it on my end. Uh, I'm going to get a small credit at the end. And I know Disney can't afford to pay me anything, so understandable. I just feel like going for a ride, guys. If I see something interesting, I'll uh, pull over and stop and uh, film it for us. Tell you what, I'm about ready to give up on this diet. Uh, I'm thinking about just uh, eating so much so I can be as uh, heavy as possible when I die. And then I'll just have uh, six people I don't like be my pallbearers. <laughs> well, guys, a viewer named Edwin told me about a free app called Plant Snap. Uh, apparently, you download the app, which I did. You take a photo through the app of uh, any plant, and it tells you what it is. Guess what? Works great. Works great. I uh, tried it on about six things today. I'll show you two of them. This is the uh, new garden area right in front of the library. And uh, I was really impressed at how uh, easy it is. You can also take a photo and upload it to the app, and it'll tell you uh, what it is. So that was real cool. Uh, there is a pay version that does even more, uh, but I'm real happy with the free app. So Edwin, thank you very much. Uh, great, I'll be using that, and uh, I appreciate the information. Well guys, uh, I have a friend, uh, non-verbal, uh, autistic, uh, OCD, you probably heard me talk about him before. Well, he sent me this clip from his dad's phone. And uh, this is the first time I ever took Devin out to eat. And uh, Devin had mentioned a barbecue place. And I uh, wanted to bring her here, like something a little different. Uh, you know, uh, not that this is fancy, but a little bit more expensive place than, a, you know, one of our local barbecue places. Well, w w we went and we had a really good time. And then the food comes. And I noticed Devin is only eating the uh, sausage and potatoes. And I said, uh, don't you like seafood? And she said, well, I'm allergic to uh, shellfish. Yeah. Yeah. Things to tell me before we go to the seafood restaurant. But uh, yeah, 
I just thought that was funny. So the last few nights I have watched, I told you I had watched uh, What's Eating Gilbert Grape so I could see the Lockhart uh, scenes. And then I watched uh, Waiting for Guffman so I could see the Lockhart scenes. And they're almost right at the beginning of the movie. And then I watched uh, Best in Show, which is uh, by the same people, Eugene Levy and uh, Christopher Guest. And uh, yeah, that's one of my favorite movies, Best in Show. Very funny. Texas historical marker, Richard Henry Woodhouse. Born in 1846, Richard Henry Wood was one of the first residents of Rockport. In 1866, Wood partnered with James Doherty and built the first cattle pens, warehouse, and wharf at Rockport Harbor. Hmm. Wood ran his business until the 1919 hurricane destroyed many of his buildings. Wood was appointed alderman in 1870 and later served as mayor of Rockport. He also initiated the Texas Game and Fish Commission in 1907. The 1968 house exhibits many characteristics of Greek revival architecture style, including its white color, columns, and wide board and batten siding. Until his death in 1923, Richard Woods Rolls, as a land developer, rancher, and civic leader, influenced Rockport's early development and growth. That was a good one, and I really like how they uh, added the uh, built-in pool on the side there. I guess they didn't have that in 1866. We got to uh, hand-feed some longhorns back in August. That's the first time I've seen those rams out here. Pretty cool. Well, I just spent a little time on YouTube. Uh, Tamron Hall is from Luling. So that's pretty neat. And uh, I guess she has a pretty successful daytime uh, talk show. I'm sorry to say I've, I've never heard of her before. But I can't tell you the last time I watched daytime TV was. But uh, I watched a few videos that she did on uh, Luling. And I thought it was kind of neat. Uh, she helped out local people and stuff like that. So do I think I'll get one new subscriber from this? No. No one's going to watch a three-second clip on a daytime talk show host and go, Hmm, I wonder who shot that. I better read the credits and try to figure it out. <laughs> Just uh, stopping to see some friends of mine. Hey, Boots. How you doing today, sweetheart? You're looking tasty. Yeah. Hey, Wellington. How's your day going, little guy? Watch your neck there. Hey, Tartar. Eat up, buddy. Get big. Stay juicy. Hey, Meatloaf. How's your day going? Been good? Hey, Burger. Good to see you, my friend. You're looking fit today. Hey, Fajita. Where you going, sweetheart? Hey, Veal Young. How are you? It's good to see you. It's good to see you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look. Veal Diamond. That's pretty sweet. Hey, Flank. Hey, Ribeye. Hey, Dallas. Hey, guys. How, how, how are y'all doing today? Always good to see you. Hey, what's up, birds? Hey, baby. I'm just uh, heading to the other side of town. I, uh, I'm i going to check to see if my driver's license came in. I was able to uh, renew my driver's license online about two weeks ago. And uh, maybe it's here. Maybe it'll be another two weeks. But uh, I thought I would check it out. This is uh, Highway 35 we're just getting on basically the end of it it keeps going but it ends here and then winds through town a little bit and then picks up uh 
across the causeway on the other side of uh, Holiday Beach. There's the first exit, Pearl Street. Man, I remember when the hurricane hit and uh, all these exit signs were uh, gone. You know, you drive the same road, so you think you would know the exit, but you get used to looking for those signs when you're on the highway. And, uh, hate to admit it, but when I was driving here for, man, it took a year or more to get the signs back up, you know? When I first moved here, that little feeder road on the right, that was the highway going both ways. Really weird. And that was all the way, uh, to the bridge in Portland. Yeah. Yeah. Good times. Good time. Oh, uh, I got reminded of a story. Uh, the video where I said uh, where I worked. Uh, I guess I was, I don't know, 14 or 15. I was working in that little grocery store for uh, three bucks an hour. And I was often left alone there. And we had a, the front of the store, you made sandwiches, cheese steaks, funnel cake. And uh, I was, all, I was, I always liked the cooking part of it that was not a big deal and uh we would get those fresh baked amarosa rolls in every day if if if, if you've never had an amarosa roll you're, you're not eating a, a cheesesteak that is the huge difference between <clears throat> excuse me getting a cheesesteak anywhere else other than philadelphia uh the amarosa roll uh you know you put it on the counter you put your hand on top you slice it razor sharp knife well, one day I made the mistake. I'm the only one in the store. Four or five people waiting for sandwiches, waiting to be rung up. I held the roll in my hand. You already know what's coming, right? Sliced right into my hand. Right through the roll, right into my hand. Just being young and dumb and uh, in a hurry. And, uh, man, I was bleeding. And guess what? People still wanted their sandwiches. <laughs> Oh, thanks for watching, everyone. I appreciate you.